Imagine this, you run a successful nutrition practice specialising in helping those who are chronically ill the natural way, only to be nearly killed yourself by a health supplement. That happened to Dr Bob Marshall two decades ago. He was given a year to live after ingesting a genetically modified version of tryptophan. Now he's in New Zealand to warn us of the potential dangers of supplements and he joins me now. Dr. Bob Marshall, that must have been a very, very scary time in your life. Tell us, how did you come to uh, take the supplement tryptophan and, and what happened after taking it? Well, I was uh, taking a B vitamin that had tryptophan in it as well. And at the time I was a marathon runner. And uh, I was a reasonably good marathon runner. I could beat the fastest woman on earth, not the fastest wow. man. And uh, as a result of the poisoning with this genetically modified form of tryptophan. So it wasn't an ordinary supplement. It was genetically modified. As a result of it, after four or five years, I could hardly walk 10 minutes. And uh, the good news was I decided to really take this industry on hard. And I began uh, to manufacture my own food supplements uh, so that someone would have an option that would be guaranteed never to be genetically modified and that extensive tests would be done before the product was sold. And actually, in the U.S. over the last five years, there's been a revolution in the uh, degree of legislation to regulate food supplements, most of which is very good. Some is a little bit of overkill because we in the U.S. never seem to be able to get the meter in the middle. We're either too lax, too strict, um, but it's, I think, for the better, and I think that uh, these are things that you uh, should be looking for in your country, and that is uh, labeling of genetically modified uh, items, whether it's a food supplement or a food. And we are currently fighting that battle in, Los, in the California area in the U.S., and hopefully that will be successfully uh, settled so that people can tell if this is genetically modified because tryptophan in its genetically modified form uh, had the ability to create infection at the lung. And I was one of 128 people who got that, and I'm the only survivor. Wow. And it was 10 or 12 years of hell. So did you order this tryptophan online? It came from Japan, didn't it? Did you order it online? It, or The raw it? material, no, it wasn't online in the in late no, 80s. No, it wouldn't have been. We, Where did no. you get it from? It was... Uh, the raw material was sold in the U.S. Um, it was sold at a discount, so people were ah. encouraged to buy it. The manufacturers of food supplements bought it, and uh, then, of course, it spawned this condition called eosinophilia myalgia syndrome. And that was what caused the infection. So for yes. people in New Zealand that go to their health shop, and, and I, I guess you assume that if it's a natural product, that it's okay for you. So how would you, how would you advise people to go about getting these supplements then? I would advise reading the label and taking only things that are food concentrates. And you read the excipients see what else has been added. You mean on the back of the, of the bottle? Yes, on the back of the bottle it'll tell you every ingredient and if it's an ingredient you can't pronounce it's probably a good idea for you not to take it and if it's um, we, we have a controversy in the US right now over the safety of excipients. These are compounds that are added to the product so it'll go in a capsule or be made into a tablet. Um, there's controversy. The FDA has never, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration has never acknowledged or said you could use them. They just haven't said you couldn't use them. Okay. But they were engineered for drugs, which would be taken short term. But these supplements, like a multivitamin, could be taken for 20 years. So now you need to pay attention to these excipients. Um, our position has been that there's enough evidence that they can be uh, harmful long-term, things like magnesium stearate, calcium stearate, um, stearic acid that's vegetable stearic acid, and silicon dioxide. 
So it's a good idea to take a close look at what else went into that capsule. What else is in there? Okay, well, Dr. Bob Marshall, thank you for joining us today. We are out of time. Just quickly, is there a place where we can get a list of these products? Because if I looked on the back, I wouldn't know where to start. Is there a place we can go? Fortunately, there is. There's an outfit here in New Zealand that we're working with called Biotrace. Biotrace. And you can go to biotrace.co.au. A NZ. NZ. I'll get it. Biotrace.co.nz. Lovely. Thank you Thank very you much for, for joining me. us.